Welcome to Easy English Practice. Cheating Husband The Broken Vow, Part 4 Emily is sitting in a restaurant, on a date, with a handsome man named David. They have been chatting for a while, but Emily can't seem to connect with him. So, Emily, what do you like to do for fun? I enjoy hiking and reading. That's great. I'm not much of a hiker, but I love reading. What kind of books do you like? I'm sorry, David. I'm just not feeling it tonight. I don't think we're a good match. Oh, I see. Well, I had a great time tonight anyway. I hope we can still be friends. I'm sorry, David. I hope we can be friends too. Why can't I find someone who loves me like Alex did? Why did he have to ruin everything? Emily's mind races as she tries to come to terms with her feelings. She knows she needs to move on, but she can't seem to let go of Alex. Emily is at home, watching TV when there's a knock on the door. She gets up to answer it. And when she opens the door, she's surprised to see Alex standing there with a bouquet of flowers in his hand. Hi, Emily. I know I messed up, and I'm sorry. Can we talk? Sure, come in. Alex steps inside, and Emily takes the flowers from him, setting them on the table. I just wanted to apologize, Emily. I know I hurt you, and I regret it every day. I love you and I want to make things right. Alex, I don't know if I can trust you again. You broke my heart twice. I understand that, Emily, but I swear I'll never hurt you again. Please, give me another chance. I need time to think about this, Alex. I can't just forgive you right away. I get it, Emily. Take all the time you need. I'll do whatever it takes to make things right. I'll be here when you're ready, Emily. Emily watches Alex leave, her heart aching with love and pain. She knows she needs to make a decision soon, but she's not sure what that decision will be.
to be continued. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates.